Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of tripod review video and I'll be opening the Amazon Basics Lite tripod which I have it right here. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this hybrid channel, I'm always trying you in different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more review videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So this has to be uh, possibly the world's lightest and cheapest tripod. Uh, this is only about $22 Canadian. And this is so light that it's really hard to believe. Uh, it's only 1.25 uh, pound. And some other specs are, this is 16.5 uh, to 50 inch in centimeters, 42 uh, to 127 centimeters. And the capacity is 4.4 uh, pound. So you can see that you cannot put really a heavy or uh, bulky tripod, but this is going to be good enough for like, you know, small camera, uh, action camera, or a tiny camera like that. And that's what, what's my purpose. Uh, the main reason I bought this, this is a very good travel tripod because you can lose it. You can like, you know, leave it uh, when you're going to, you don't have to even bring it back. And you can just like, you know, don't worry about breaking it. And uh, for that reason, I'm going to take this uh, to my travel, which is coming up uh, within the next uh, four or five days. And I, I may not even bring it back because I might just, you know, give it to someone there uh, because uh, this is uh, really cheap. So I'm going to open this up and show you a little bit here. And then we're going to a park and then I'll just, you know, give you a... Uh, uh, I'll take a look at it once we set up the tripod and then I'll put a small camera to see how steady it is. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, let's uh, open this up and see what we have inside. So this is a very simple packaging, uh, nothing much to it. And I'm just going to take it out of the box. And let's put this here. Now, the moment you can take it out, you can feel that how small it is and how lightweight it is. And even they touched a bag, which was, I was not expecting for this price point. So let's, uh, you know, open this tripod and see. Okay, so one thing I just found out that it doesn't open all the way. So you are kind of like, you know, looking at halfway zipper through, half, halfway through zipper. And let me just see what brand of zipper is this. So this is not YKK, uh, it is kind of a no-name brand zipper. And I'm just going to take out the tripod. Okay, so we have uh, the bag is empty and I'll just, you know, set it aside here. And let's take it out of the wrapper. Okay, so you can see that, uh, so like, you know, even it's not very bad looking and I'm surprised that it has a even uh, bubble to balance or to you know make the positioning correct so that's a good thing and then even it has a bolt head so for this little price you're getting so many things I'm really surprised so I'm going to unfold it at the park not here uh, because I have limited space and then you know I'll uh, stand make this a stand and I'll you know put a small camera on it just to show you uh, how it looks like and how steady it is. So let's go to the park. Hello everyone. So I'm at a park and I just set up the Amazon Basics uh, tripod. And as you can see that this is a very, it was very simple to set up. It didn't take uh, any time at all. And uh, I was expecting this one to be not that much stable, but uh, surprisingly this is very stable. So. I'm really impressed that you know this uh, cheap tripod uh, how stable it is and uh, this is a small uh, mirrorless camera but my main purpose is to put in uh, put a GoPro or small camera on top of it so definitely this is going to work because uh, this camera is much heavier than GoPro or you know a audio recorder and uh, it seems to be holding just fine so even it has a bubble leveling uh, which is uh, right here so the way you control that you have to just like you know uh, twist this knob and then you uh, put the bubble in the middle and that way you can balance it and then so once you tighten up this is going to be balanced and this knob right here is to control the movement of the horizontal uh, or circling uh, movement so for example right now this is very tight and you can see that you cannot move the camera to the left or right horizontally uh, but if I just loosen this up a little bit 
then you can see that it is moving and even in order to uh, control the smooth movement there's a handle right here there's another button in the middle which is right here so this is to control the height of the camera so for example if I loosen this up and then you can see that you know this is extending further so you can just you know make it go as high as this so this is as high as it can go so you can see that this is fairly very good height uh, it's not bad at all but the one thing is if you just make it all the way up it looks like loses a little bit of stability so it's more stable when it's a little bit down so let me just uh, you know uh, put it down a little bit so definitely if you are keeping it halfway through or all the way then it has it is more stable the stability is just good enough because uh, this is really an inexpensive and uh, a lightweight tripod another feature is that you can remove the plate where you you know uh, put your camera which is the camera base so in order to do that you have to just you know uh, push this upward and then if you just uh, let me just see you can just uh, take it away and then once you put the camera you can just you know do the same thing and you can put it back and then that way you don't have to you know put your camera on top just by circ circling the camera on here so that's another feature the tripod has so overall i'm really happy with the product i was not expecting this to be uh, this good uh, definitely this is going to be my travel companion uh, the weight is very negligible and you can take it anywhere and even if you do, do not want to bring it back that's another option because this is only 20 dollars so i have several tips coming up in the next uh, few weeks and i'm going to take this tripod uh, on my first trip and then i'll decide if i i'm going to bring this back or i'll just leave it there and when i come back buy again and take it to the second trip so it all depends how things are but i'm happy with the product and again this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest so thank you for watching this video uh, there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you